let's go to matthew chapter 6 and let's read from verse 25 onwards matthew now he says therefore i say to you do not worry about your life yeah now we have heard this word so often right yeah, yeah. don't be worried do not worry right and yeah. and many a times we even say this jesus is saying do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink mm. nor worry about your body what mm. will you wear what mm. will you put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing now jesus is preaching against worry or is he preaching to worry yes he he is preaching against worry when jesus is saying do not worry do we look at worrying as a sin or do we look at worry as something which is you know which can be uh, ignored which can be just spoken very casually of mm-hmm. we don't we don't look at worry as a sin right yeah do i look at worry as the same as i look at adultery no as i view murder no but did jesus say do not commit adultery did jesus say do not murder he yeah. said those words right now now we say those are sin and do we ever look at worry as a sin as how we consider the sin of adultery murder yeah. now i i let me give you a small uh, illustration okay a small example now when i see brother somebody in front of me okay mm. committing a sin yeah. i know fully well according to the scripture it is a sin i become so quickly judgmental about that person and i so quickly go to try to show that person the sin he has committed Yes. but what about the sin of worry do i use the same standard with myself as i use the standards with others in in the in in the sight of god have i also missed the mark according to the word of god jesus is saying do not worry that means i have to be extremely extremely vigilant when satan brings the weapon of stress worry and anxiety in my mind through his thoughts now when he saying do not worry is he giving us a option is he giving us a suggestion it's a command no it's an order what is he saying do not worry but many of us still act as if it's a suggestion it's no. an option we think we are free to worry whenever we want to why because it's our nature is that how a believer has to live in the mm. kingdom of god does the scripture say the just shall live by worry or the just shall live by faith see see we we really need to come to terms and settle this truth in our heart that in the sight of god worrying is a sin it is one of those things the word of god directly commands us not to do so now the question comes what are we then supposed to do with all the worry that all the stress all the thoughts all the concerns that we have about our problems many a times we always uh, you know we think if i am not worried then i am irresponsible one of the I- identifying signs that the world thinks that i am responsible is by me being worried but if yeah. you read if you read the scriptures if you see the word of god it is exactly the opposite and this is the most most common common sin which is done we met uh, melory and kevin there was another friend who had come with me from dubai and he is telling me you have to apply for your wife's visa now what was given to us known and many people who do not know and i have given a testimony also in melbourne that you don't need to be working here to sponsor your wife so without me working because people had told me you have to work show your salary certificate then only you can sponsor your wife okay i was waiting to get a job sister 
But then when I met Kevin, he told me you don't need to. He took me to a person. I he only did the paperwork. I had to pay for it, of course. He got it done. Sister, today, today. Now we are all going to be three months and twenty third of Jan. My wife already has a five year card which she can work in London. Once your paperwork is done in this country. then you don't have to worry about the other things people had you know don't know and they put that fear that you have to get a job you have to show your documents you have to show this you have to show that this is how satan uses people to put fear in you and the worry starts now i work for two days okay now praise be to god god had already prepared us in advance we had whatever we had got from now years work so that we are able to sustain till now sister now just before you came i got another call saying that i may be working from monday onwards just before that this friend of mine called just he told me to go for a forklift license so what i am doing is i am em- empowering myself with lot of trades you know in this place you don't need qualifications you need skill and driving and this part of the skill is very very important in this country because logistics is a big part here and driving so you know sister god is showing me ways how to empower myself so that i have options to choose my job or what i can go for so in other words god is even now i don't have a job but he's already preparing me in the background to be prepared in the future of what if i don't take this i can take that you know sister so what happens is if you come with a mindset that you are going to work the same thing what you are doing there it is not possible so this is what i'm saying and sister every day people are going through this worry and getting depressed thinking of how they are going to sustain their families people who are coming to this country are trying to see oh i was to work there then they then the devil says you compare yourself you are better off there you know all those things the devil puts in your head you don't rely on god and say god you know what's the best for me now initially sister the two days i worked it was like i was in a gym for 22 hours but sister i learned something from that i got fit god kept me fit because all this time i used to do only desk jobs that got me to a better fitness level you do not know how god works that's why he also says your thoughts are not my thoughts yes we have made this word do not be worried we don't realize that it's a tool it's a strategy from the kingdom of darkness it's the strategy of satan designed to produce stress designed to produce strain and death what is the reason for so much of sickness illness around yes. the world 80 yes. to 90% is stress related and when he says therefore i say unto you do not worry he is saying don't be thinking of all those things which does not matter he says look at the birds of the air in the 26th verse for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not of more value than they now when we go through some challenge or some issue in our life some incident in our life in that situation who am i looking at the problem or the promise now if i am not supposed to uh, worry then what what do i do with all those thoughts those imaginations of stress anxiety worry fear go to 1 peter chapter 5 verse 7 let's see what are we supposed to do Now is he saying casting all your care upon him? Yeah. Do we cast all our care upon him? No. Mm. God says you should cast them all upon him. Not 75%, 80%. Just think back today how many times did we cast all our cares upon him and how many times did we keep part of it upon ourselves? even if i miss out on casting that one thought which is not in line with that word it is enough for the devil to get an inroad into my mind and through my mind he will take access into my heart 
and 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 this is what i have to uh, teach my mind i have to tell i have to speak to my mind reprogram it and say no i am not going to take the care upon myself i am going to cast it upon the lord whatever it is open your mouth and say lord i cast the care upon you let's say i have my car keys okay you ask for my car keys okay and what i do i take it out from my pocket okay and i throw it to you and you catch it now sister anita comes to me okay and she's te- and she's telling me sister can you give me your car keys now do i have the car keys with me no what will i tell her it's with brother jude go take yeah. it from him now what did i do did i cast my keys to you yeah do i have it with me any longer no now in the same way when the devil brings that thought of worry anxiety and stress in your mind take that thought immediately and cast it upon jesus now when the devil again comes knocking at your mind and starts reminding you starts giving you those thoughts you tell the devil i have just casted it on the lord go and talk to him if you want it if my foundation is not strong on the word on the promises of god then i become an easy target for the devil so that's why i have to be extremely vigilant that every time i see a thought coming in my mind which is not in line with the word of god open your mouth immediately and say lord i cast this care upon you because you care for me and once you have casted that care upon jesus let it remain on jesus don't take it back replace that thought with the promises of god worrying is a tool of the devil that he uses against people to steal kill and destroy now now what is depression yeah what is <laughs> what is depression it is it is some it it is an uh, external force that is trying to get inside my heart and weigh me down it's, it's all those worry it's all those thoughts that i have failed to cast it on the lord and when my mind is affected the the brain will receive those messages and the brain will start releasing all those toxic yeah. chemicals mm-hmm. and there will be a whole imbalance in the body when a person is in depression you know they go and meet the psychiatrist they will uh, you know give you medicines okay yeah. to put your brain to sleep right. but that is not a solution and many a times there will be different kinds of uh, techniques like meditation they, they will uh, try to move you into uh, some positive meditation they are trying to find a solution to change the way we think so that we can change our behavior so if you see a change of thinking will always lead to a change in behavior a negative change in my thinking my behavior will always be negative for those going through depression they'll try to put them into positive affirmations positive thinking but in the word of god the bible says something very very different bible is not talking about positive thinking the bible speaks about the spirit part of the man which a uh, psychiatrist psychology will not know according to the psychology you know that will have an impact because because our mind has that power and our body uh, and our brain also has that capacity which is beyond measure but if you see in the word of god we are not depending on the power of our mind please understand this but the word of god teaches us to depend on the holy spirit the creator himself yeah. so when we take the wo- word of god and we speak it out of our mouth what are we doing we are giving access to the creator to control my mind 
it's not positive thinking it is the living and abiding word of god which has life in it <clears throat> Th- that's why it's not just coping up with you know depression with uh, stress overcoming thinking uh, you know over uh, overcoming uh, negative thinking by replacing it with positive thinking no 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 it's not going to get you anywhere mm. if you really want to see a change make the word of god your thought make the word of god your will make the word of god your emotion Yeah. make the word of god your feeling make the word of god your life mm. 